Good morning, my dear students. Myself, Dr. Rathod Lal Singh, Assistant Professor in the Department of Agricultural Entomology at School of Agriculture, SR University. In this session, we are going to discuss about one of the most important biopesticide that is EPN, Entomopathogenic Nematodes. Entomopathogenic nematodes, these are the soil inhabiting nematodes or organisms. This nematode causes diseases in insects. That's why we are calling them as entomopathogens. This nematode lives inside the host body. That's why they are considered as endoparasitic or endoparasitic nematodes. The nematodes which belong to the Stenernimachidae family and Heterorhabditidae family are most useful as the biocontrol agent in the various insect pest management. We will see the different species and host insects in coming slides. Entomopathogenic nematode has six life stages. They are juvenile 1, juvenile 2, juvenile 3, juvenile 4, juvenile 5 and juvenile 6. In general, that is in case of plant parasitic nematodes, juvenile 2 stage is infective or effective 1. But in case of entomopathogenic nematodes, juvenile 3 stage that is J3 stage is infective or effective 1. This entomopathogenic nematode has symbiotic relationship with the bacteria and this symbiotic relationship is compulsory in order to kill insect pest. If there is no symbiotic relationship with bacterium, then these nematodes are ineffective or useless. See here the example for nematode bacterium complex. Stinernema nematode which is associated with the Xenorhabdus bacteria. Heterorhabditis nematode which is associated with the Photorhabdus bacteria. Then what is the benefit for nematode from this symbiotic association from the bacteria? Bacteria kills the insect host, create a suitable environment, break down the host tissues and provide the food source for the nematode. These are the benefit to the nematode from the bacteria. Then what is the benefit for the bacterium from the nematode in this symbiotic association? This nematode helps the bacteria in the penetration of this bacteria into the host hemocell and this nematode protects the bacteria from the external environment as well as from the host antibacterial proteins. Otherwise, this antibacterial protein neutralizes that bacteria. Like that, in this symbiotic association, Bacterium is benefited from nematode and nematode is benefited from the bacteria. See here the scientific classification of Stenernema nematode. It is belong to the kingdom Animalia, Phylum nematoda, class Chromadoria, order Rabgicida, family Stenernema chide, genus Stenernema. See the various species under Stinernema nematode and their host. Stinernema carpocapsae. Stinernema carpocapsae, it is effective against corn airworm that is Helicovarpa, Zia, fall armyworm, 
codling moth, European corn borer, and various beetles and other soil dwelling insects. Next species is Stinernema feltiae, which is effective against fungus knot, a root weevil, cut worms, carrot weevils, and various soil dwelling pests. Next species is Stinernema glaseri. It is effective against a sugar beet root maggot, a wire worms, corn rootworm larvae, various beetle larvae, and other soil dwelling insects. Next species is Stinernema crazy. It is effective against weevils, fungus knot, and various soil dwelling insect pests. Next species is Stinernema longicordum, which is effective against wireworm, beetle larvae, and various soil dwelling insects. Next series scientific classification of Heterorhabditis nematode. This Heterorhabditis nematode belongs to the kingdom Animalia, Phylum nematoda, class Chromadoria, order Rhabditida, family Heterorhabditidae, and genus Heterorhabditis. See the species under Heterorhabditis nematode. Heterorhabditis bacteriophora. It is effective against corn, a rootworm larvae, beetle larvae, weevils, cutworms, and various soil dwelling pests. Heterorhabditis indica. It is effective against sugarcane borer, root weevils, fungus knots, various soil dwelling insects. Heterorhabditis marilatus. It is effective against root weevils, beetle larvae, wire worms, various soil dwelling pests. Next, Heterorhabditis downsi. Downsi. Heterorhabditis downsi. It is effective against beetle larvae, cut worms, various soil dwelling insects. Heterorhabditis safricana. It is effective against root weevils, various beetle larvae and soil dwelling insects. Next, we are going to see about mode of action of entomopathogenic nematode in brief. This entomopathogenic nematode actively forays and seek the host in the soil. Once it get or once it find its host, it penetrate into it through the natural opening such as anus, mouth, spiracles or any other shocked part of the body and cause infection by releasing bacteria. Inside this host, the bacterial pathogen release toxins and other toxic enzyme that cause pathogenesis that cause diseases in the host insect and eventually kills them and this dead and decaying host the nematode feed grows reproduce and produce progeny and this progeny will disperse for attack to the next new host. See here in detail the mode of action of entomopathogenic nematodes, foraging and host seeking. Entomopathogenic nematodes actively search for the insect host in the soil. They are attracted to the chemical signals such as carbon dioxide and other compound emitted by their target host. These chemicals guides these nematodes towards their potential host. Next step in the mode of action is the penetration and infection. Upon locating a host, entomopathogenic nematode enter into the insect body or host body through the natural openings 
like mouth, spiracles, or soft areas of the cuticle. Once inside, they release symbiotic bacteria, either Xenorhabdus or Photorhabdus. It depends on the nematode species. Bacterial pathogenesis. The bacteria inside the host develop and multiply rapidly, secret toxic enzymes and toxic material that break down the host tissues and suppress host immune system leading to the death of the host. Nematode feeding, reproduction and dispersal. Entomopathogenic nematodes feed on both the bacteria and the decaying host tissues. It feeds on the bacteria to carry its infectious nature, <clears throat> infectious nature to attack the next host. And decaying host tissue, it feeds for its development and reproduction. Has this nematode consume the sources, they grow and reproduce. The nematode produces new infective juveniles which exist the dead host and search for the new targets. Different formulation of entomopathogenic nematodes. Entomopathogenic nematode available in granular form, liquid suspension, wettable powder form, pellet form and capsule form. In granular form, entomopathogenic nematode is mixed with a granular carrier materials. In liquid suspension, entomopathogenic nematodes suspended in water or any other liquids. In wettable powder form, EPNs formulated has a powder. It is to be mixed with the water. In pellet form, EPNs are produced in pellet or crumble form. In capsulated form, EPNs are developed into a capsule that is biodegradable capsule for slow release of the nematodes. Granular form is applied as are applied for soil dwelling pest. Liquid suspension it is suitable for soil and foliar application. A wettable powder also suitable for soil and foliar application. Pellet form it is also useful for plant and soil application. Encapsulated form also useful for plant that is whole application and soil application. See here the typical dose it is ranges from 1 to 5 billion nematode per acre and it will be vary with nematode to nematode species and their age and stage. See here commercial formulation given here. Not not grub stake high horticultural scan mask nema sealed nemesis and their doses for hectare is given. That is 25 million infective juveniles can be cover a one to two hectare are we have to mix in 200 to 500 liter of water to spray one hectare area. See here one experimental example is given for the management of root grub in Erica nut. For management of root grub in Erica nut, we have to apply Stinner Nema Carpocapsae in a liquid suspension at a rate of 1.5 billion infective juveniles per hectare. The first application should be made during June July with the onset of the monsoon. The second application should be done during September October. Along with the application of this entomopathogenic nematode, apply imidacloprid. Imidacloprid 17.8 SL. At 0.5 ml for 2 liter of water per pound. It acts as synergistic with the entomopathogenic nematode and enhances the control of root grubs. One important noting point 
During nematode application, we regularly irrigate the field to maintain optimum soil moisture. Why? Because it is a very must or which is crucial for survival, effective establishment of nematode and their movement from one place to the another place. Environmental persistence. In absence of host, that is outside of host infection, EPN do not undergo the dyes. Instead of this, EPN can survive the soil by entering a dormant state. They withstand various environmental conditions and remain viable, ready to infect a new host when the condition becomes favorable for them. See here the eco-friendly powder form entomopathogenic nematode formulation. It is recommended at the rate of 1 into 10 to the power of 8 infective juveniles per acre that is 2 kg powder formulation per acre. This is the gel formulation of entomopathogenic nematode. In the final slide, what are the symptoms of entomopathogenic nematode in host insects? The symptoms include cessation of feeding, increased hemolymph pH, vomiting, diarrhea, sluggishness in host insect. We also observe, we can also observe general paralysis and septicemia, that is blood poison occur in 24 to 48 hours resulting in the death of the insect. In particular to this Tinernema nematode infected larvae, in particular to this Tinernema nematode infected larvae, they turn creamy or dark brown in color. At the same time, heterorhabditis, heterorhabditis nematode infected larvae, they turn reddish or purplish in color and they also show sticky nature of the cadaver. Thank you. In the next session, we are going to discuss about mass multiplication of entomopathogenic nematodes.